this gets into what we were talking about earlier with the uh, drug crimes that Nichols had pleaded guilty to, but we're still part of this case. And one of it was a marijuana possession case, but we've got this, uh, I've got, I've got a video of your cross on here that, that we can play for the people for, and then maybe you can walk us through, you know, what, what you were, what you were doing here. If you, if you can kind of take us back in time, we'll, uh, we'll get this up here. And this is back in the early throes of the trial. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Okay. So you do not know when this video, the social media post, you do not know when it was created, correct? I do not. All right. And you do not know who posted it, correct? You cannot say I, that for a fact? I cannot say who you yeah, posted. Okay. And in fact, you do not know who filmed the video, correct? I do not. You do not. All right. And you do not know what approximate time that you saw the post, correct? It wasn't my narrative. It says 20 minutes. No. What time oh, you the saw. Time. Oh. Yes. You do not know. No. Okay. And you do not know what device that you were using to see this post, correct? Nah, hang on. Because you said... I don't know what time it happened. If we comparing the body camera video to when I'm saying 20 minutes of my report, it would have been roughly approximately that time. You don't know when the video was created. You don't know if it was created and posted on the same day. You do not know. We're not talking about that, though. We're talking about you saying how long after me seeing the video. That's what you just said. That is not what I said at all. Let's let's just go back a little bit. Let's slow down. Okay? Okay. All right. Right now, I am just asking questions about the post itself. Yes. Okay. I'm not talking about your body camera. All right. Okay. So I asked you, you do not know when the video, meaning the Instagram video, when it was created. You do not know that, correct? No. Okay. Because you didn't make it. You don't know. No. All right. And you do not know who filmed the video. You weren't there. You do not know. No. Okay. And you do not know when the approximate time that the video was posted, correct? No. Okay. And you do not know where you were when you were watching this video, correct? No. Okay. And in fact, you do not know the device that you even used to watch this video, right? I see the cell phone. Huh? My city cell. You're saying your cell phone? Yeah, my city cell phone. Your city cell phone? Okay. Do you remember um, another occasion where I asked you that question? Yeah. Okay. All right. And you don't remember saying that you did not know? I'm pretty sure I said my city cell phone at that time as well. All right. Don't worry. We can move on. All right. So you're watching this post, right? And you see what you believe to be a small bag of marijuana, correct? Yes. All right. And you see this post and you call your supervisor? I know if I am, yes. All right. And you get a caravan together? Yes. All right. And you find a staging location? Yes. Okay. And you call, and several officers meet you at the staging location? Yes. All right. And you do this briefing session with your other officers? Yes. To go get this marijuana? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you... <laughs> arrive at the apartment complex right okay, so let's uh let, let's stop there for for a few minutes somebody somebody just said that you know you killed this cross without having to reference your notes and can you can you talk about how you prepared for for this first of all because i mean are, are that the paper on the lectern right there are those are those your notes did you have some questions sketched out there oh probably usually i'll have kind of bullet points yeah not necessarily a question verbatim you know, but something to just spark my memory or something to say, I want to make sure I get the following points across. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you start off with obviously the social media post cause that's what, you know, tipped him off and led him to go over there. So you spent, spend a few minutes on this and just kind of your tone, obviously, I think establishes what you want to establish. And that's just kind of the, kind of the ridiculousness of the situation, right. Or, 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 or the overreaction. Is that, is that how you would explain this? Well, I'm happy to hear you say it yeah. because that is the, that's how we felt. And that was the point that we wanted to get across. So you saying that lets me know the point was made. Okay. Okay, good. And let's, uh, so this gets into the actual, 
them arriving at the house and and doing the big drug bus, like you said, getting okay. the getting the caravan together. We'll we'll keep playing it here. Yes. And when you get there, Mr. Nichols, who you believe to be Mr. Nichols, he's not he's not even in that car, the the gray the gray car anymore. Correct. Correct. Okay. And let me ask you a question. Let me make sure that that I'm clear on this. You saw another post on that same social media account from the day before or earlier that day with the same clothes on, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. So anyway, so you get to the apartment. Mr. Nichols is not in the white Toyota. No, okay. he's in the white Toyota. Excuse me. He's not in the gray Sonic. Yes. Okay. And in fact, he's now in a different car. He's in a, a white Toyota, right? Yes. All right. And there are two other people in the white Toyota with him, correct? Yes. All right. The two females that we just saw. Yes. Okay. And there are several individuals standing outside. That's fair. Yes. Okay. And of these individuals standing outside, they're males, they're females, it's both, right? Yes. Okay. And so you... Let me ask you, sitting on top of the gray car, okay, the gray car, okay. you saw individuals sitting on the gray car, right? Yes, sir. All right, and you saw individuals standing beside the gray car, correct? Yes. None of which was Mr. Nichols. Correct. All right. And so you park your patrol car, right? Mm -hmm. And you get out. And you testify that you smell marijuana in the air, right? Yes. And specifically, you said you smell burnt marijuana in the air, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, Mr. Nichols, you approached Mr. Nichols immediately, right? Yes. Okay. And he didn't have um, any marijuana in his hand, correct? Yes. And you didn't observe him smoking any marijuana, correct? Yes. Okay. And he didn't have a firearm in his hand or anything of that nature, right? He didn't. Okay. And as a matter of fact, when you approached Mr. Nichols, you and the other individuals, you asked him about marijuana, right? I did. And Mr. Nichols told you he didn't have any? He did. Okay. And as a matter of fact, Mr. Nichols said, officer, you can search me. He did. Okay. <clears throat> You asked Mr. Nichols for his name. I did. He provided it to you. He did. He gave you his real name. He did. It's fair to say he was cooperative. He was. Okay. Now, several other individuals was outside. You checked their IDs, correct? I did. Okay. And you put them in handcuffs? Uh, yes, somebody did. Okay. And you didn't see them committing any crimes? No. Okay. <clears throat> And it would be fair to say throughout your whole time in this apartment complex that all of these individuals, they didn't give you any trouble, did they? No. Pretty cooperative. They were. Okay. Hmm. All right, so now you called for the K-9 unit, right? I uh, checked on the ETA, yes. Okay. And you observed the K-9 unit patrol, you know, walk around the area with the K-9 officer, right? I did. Okay. So when you're doing this this questioning, how, especially right now, how much of, of what you're going to say is basically just completely dependent on how the witness answers? Like you said, you have your bullet points sketched out, but you're not writing specific questions. So it seems like, especially right here, you're really kind of going with the flow of the conversation. Are you, is it just you and him or take us into your mindset right yeah, here? You it, you're, you're tunneled in. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's me and him. And I'm listening to his answers and I'm going with the flow and I'm, I'm leading him <laughs> yeah. down the path that, that I, that I want to. And, and, and sometimes I've noticed just in the, in the exams, you can tell that the attorney knows the witness from other cases that they've done. Did you have any experience with this officer that kind of gave you a report or? I can't even remember. <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm not sure if I did, but you know, it's just important to know your case very well and to to read everything and leave nothing unturned and so you know about time that we're here doing in this type of questioning you know i know if he's consistent with his report if it's consistent with any video footage any other statements i know his answer before it comes out of his mouth yeah yeah 
And if he's not, then we'll deal with that. <laughs> so, let's uh, let's right. go to the end here. We've got a couple more minutes. Okay. And out of all of these individuals outside and the cars outside, you didn't observe the K-9 alert anything beside that one car, right? To my knowledge. To your knowledge, okay. All right, so out of all of the individuals that was congregating that, that evening, no one else was arrested, right? Correct. All right, so they weren't arrested for drugs, right? Correct. Okay, and they weren't arrested for guns, right? Correct. All right, so you didn't find, you know, uh, crimes out there beside the one that you said that you arrested Mr. Nichols for, right? Correct. Okay. All right, and so you based your arrest on for Mr. Nichols solely on what was in the gray car, right? Yes. Okay. And the gray car that he was not in when you arrived? Yes. Okay. The gray car that you couldn't pinpoint what time that he may have been in that car, correct? You don't know. I asked you that earlier. <laughs> correct. Okay. All right. And Officer Ross, uh, let me just ask you this. You're aware that the marijuana charge against Mr. Nichols was dismissed? No. You're not? Hmm. No further questions. So that. Any further examination? <laughs> oh, well, they're, they're going to clean up here. Who comes up? Mr. Sharp. Oh, wait, it's Max. He has a question. <laughs> When was this? This was like last year. I know. When Officer was Ross, this? good afternoon. Good afternoon. How many people approximately were out there that night? I'm not sure. Who, who are you referring to? Who are you referring to? Officers? No, not officers. Civilians. Citizens. More than three. More than three? Was it more than ten? I'm not sure. Okay. How many total people were detained? The people near the vehicle and the people inside of the vehicle. And how yep. I should have I should have kept it going. That's that was back that's in right. that was back that was back in February according to the according to the date. So 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 yeah, so one of the marijuana charges was was dropped. But it, it, is that one of the cases that's still the basis for one of the overt acts or it, it, explain that to us. So that case was yes, was was one of the, the bases, but you know <laughs> That cross, it's funny, I don't rarely do we get a chance to see ourselves, <laughs> you know, so I appreciate you showing me the clip. And uh, so I was kind of laughing over here, but because usually you're just you're in a zone and, and you know what you're after. And then once you're finished with it, you're moving on to the next situation. So you don't really get the opportunity to, to go back and watch that. But it, you asked me something earlier and I wanted to answer it. You know, the point for through that cross in our head was to just show how silly and ridiculous that whole situation was and to really you know compare it to the the prosecution that we were currently in like that's yeah. silly this is silly you know they called out a whole caravan for an instagram post you know some marijuana and that's exactly what they're doing here and so that that's the point that we were hoping to to show how the police department you know, the APD, how they acted then and how they're acting now and how the prosecution acted then and how they're acting now. I mean, it, it's certainly not your your job to spend any time wondering how the prosecution could have made their case better. But do you think <laughs> any, any regrets from them right now that they spent like the first six months of this trial talking about like people riding hoverboards through a mall, like a, a marijuana, a car crashing into a laundromat and didn't even get to the murders until like a few months in when the jury was like already over it. I mean, it just seems like the way this case was handled was crazy ridiculous, but, or, but that did that benefit you on, from a defense? Side? You know, we think it did because, you know, starting, uh, putting things in that was was petty unsubstantiated you couldn't you know even trying to make this outrageous leap that someone who had a you know ten dollar bag of marijuana was somehow collecting money for organization and i mean it was just ridiculous yeah. right yeah. and so so i think that 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 helped you know mm -hmm. i don't know 
you know, why they thought it was a good idea to, to drag it out and, and to put in situations that, you know, I believe they could not have thought with any good faith belief had anything to do with anything, but they did. And, you know, we think it was a mistake for them, but beneficial for us. And yeah, yeah. which was why it was hard when you had to think about do the mistrial without prejudice and bring it back. Will they make that same mistake? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. there's a part, you know, we'll be blown with you. There's a part of me that feels, I don't know how else they could have done it either because they were trying, given the charges, the different counts, I don't know how else they could have even attempted to try to establish this was some kind of group effort anyway, without trying right. to bring in all of these things. But I think nobody's stupid and, people were able to recognize, you know, what from 2012, what happened? And like, did these people even know each other? Like, this is ridiculous. And so, you know, but anyway, I don't know. I don't know why they did that, but I guess that in a, in a good way, good thing they did, I guess.